Hello, this is a lorry inspection. Could I please take a look at your cargo space? Go ahead, be my guest. I have nothing to hide. So, I'm back again. Your container was empty except for these two things. What's up with the teddy bear and the shoe? Well, that's not illegal, is it? No, of course not. And neither is giving reasonable answers. Uh, well, I had old clothes in my container and this must have been left behind. Precisely. Ah, okay. I'm sure you won't have any objection to us keeping these two items, will you? No, go ahead. Good, that's it then. No need for documents and a further vehicle inspection at this time. Have a safe journey. Hey, why have you taken the old teddy and the child's shoe with you? I've got a feeling that there's more to this than the driver is letting on. Call it intuition, if you like. You gradually develop a sense for this kind of thing. You should always trust your intuition. Hello, we're currently conducting a sample check of lorries on this section of the autobahn. May we inspect your cargo, please? Hello, go ahead, but please make it quick, I've got an appointment. Thank you very much. This won't take long.
So, did you get what you needed? Oh yes, we got it all right. You're coming to the station with us. What? Why? Is something wrong? <laughs> you could say that, yes. These weapons that you're transporting, where are they from? Weapons? What weapons? I don't know anything about... The lorry will be seized and we're taking you down to the station. There's a colleague from customs waiting there who you can tell everything to. Even at my age, I've still managed to land the big fish. Uh, sorry, I mean we, of course. See, Hans? You're never too old for a big fish. Hey, don't get cheeky with me. Looks like we have our suspect. The whole cargo area was full of weapons. Good work. Obviously you were on the right track. Yes. Thanks to you, we've been able to take a lot of weapons out of circulation. But we'll take it from here. Ah, good thing you're here. We've received an anonymous tip that there are some sinister characters loitering in our Autobahn WCs doing dodgy things. The callers seemed a bit odd, but we should still follow up on the matter. I'll send the coordinates to the sat-nav in your patrol car. Okay then. <laughs> There's always something new. We'll set off straight away.
Ah, it's you. It must have been you who called the station. Yes. If I see anything suspicious, then I feel obliged to report it to the police. OK, then tell us what you saw. So, until just a moment ago, there were two really dodgy characters knocking around here. They haven't been gone long. You only just missed them. And what were they doing that was so dodgy? One of them was just standing around, waiting. Then, when the second one arrived, they both went to the toilet together. Oh, and they both had a really big bag with them. All right, I'll see if I can find anything suspicious inside. I hope you didn't go in as well. No, of course not. I don't want to tamper with evidence again or anything like that. Please, wait outside. Well, what do we have here? Have you found anything of interest? Didn't I tell you to stay outside? I was outside, but I want to watch you do your police work. All right, just don't touch anything. What we're looking at here is a whole lot of drug paraphernalia. Oh, I knew it! Hey, don't lean on that. There, on the wall. That looks like some kind of code. Where? Oh, Oh, no! Great, now half of it's been smudged. I'll make a note of what's left. It's all very well and good that you want to help us, but you're only making everyone's life more difficult when you do things like that. Who knows how valuable the information we've gathered here is now. I'm sorry. I only wanted to help. I'd better get back to the station anyway. You certainly shouldn't stay here alone. Go home. I will do. Bye. Hello, boss. We found some extremely interesting evidence in an autobahn toilet. It supports our previous suspicions that drugs are often sold there. There was some kind of code written on one of the walls, which I'm afraid got partly smudged. I think the dealers are using it to communicate with each other to arrange new meeting locations. That sounds convincing. Show me. If it is as you suspect, we will soon have an undercover mission. Our unmarked vehicles should be ready by then. As soon as my contact has more to tell us about the code, I'll let you know. Good work.
Hey guys, there's been an accident on a bridge. Far worse, however, is that the cause of the accident was a suicide. Please take care of it. Okay, we'll set off straight away. I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? you just witnessed is terrible, but I still have to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you. Now can you please tell me what you saw? I was traveling in the outside lane on my way home. I, I turned and, and then I saw the man. It all happened so quickly, but it was like I was looking him in the eye. Then he hit the road. I braked, but I realized I couldn't avoid the man. After all, I was going 120 kilometers per hour. So I yanked the steering wheel and then ended up in the crash barrier. I certainly didn't want to run him over. I mean, he was already dead probably, but, but I didn't hurt him. I didn't hurt him more, did I? <laughs> no, you didn't. You did everything correctly. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much and please take care of yourself. An ambulance will take you to the hospital. Hello there, could you give me a brief overview of the situation? Hello, of course I can. We have a suicide victim, he jumped from the bridge. He was killed instantly. He threw himself onto the tarmac some distance in front of an oncoming vehicle. The driver clipped the crash barrier out of fright. Fortunately, nothing happened to him. Oh, uh, and here's the jumper's ID. I know him. He was drunk behind the wheel of his lorry and pleaded with me not to report him. He was desperate, but I never thought he'd go as far as to take his own life. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sorry, I, I have to get on with things here. Okay, thank you. Hey, I can see you're blaming yourself for what happened with the lorry driver. Of course it's tragic, but you did nothing wrong. Who knows what would have happened if you had let the driver go. Things could have got even worse. I know things like this weigh heavily, and it's hard to get them out of your head. But I'll say it again, you did everything correctly. What will be, will be. So, chin up. Life goes on. <laughs> well, thanks for trying to cheer me up. <laughs> 